City Goes Country. Today we're going to make Mexican stuffed bell peppers. So we've got our peppers here all cut up. Um, they had a special on the colored one, so I got those. Of course, you could always use just plain green. We're going to put them in the oven for 20 minutes at 350, just to start their cooking process while we're making the filling. All right, for the filling, we've got one pound of ground beef all cooked up in a crumbly fashion. Then we're going to add one quarter of a medium onion. black beans in this, but I'm going to use red beans because I need to can some more black beans. I used my home canned red beans, and I didn't pick up any black beans at store because I didn't know I was out. So we're going to use the red beans today, but um, like I said, I would normally use black beans. And it's one pint jar or one can from the store. while we're waiting for those peppers. So we still have our fluffy rice that we cooked yesterday. Didn't use it all up at breakfast this morning. And we are going to put in about a cup. So this is a three quarters of a cup measure. So I'm gonna just keep it up so I have a cup of rice. Another meal. And the last thing that we're going to put in is about a cup of salsa. I have salsa from the store. Our tomatoes were crappy this year, so we didn't get those enough salsa canned for us for the year. So about a cup of the salt. We're going to stir that in. Right. I'm going to turn this down. just about a quarter of a cup of water just to deglaze that plant pan a little. It was trying to stick on me. All right, that looks like it is all heated up. We will let that simmer really low until those peppers come out of the oven in about 15 minutes. All right, those peppers are almost ready to come out. We're going to add our seasoning now, let that soak in. We're going to do two tablespoons of taco seasoning. taste this in a few minutes to make sure that's enough, but I believe it will be with the salsa in there. Alright, let that simmer. Okay, our peppers are out of the oven. 
And we are going to fill them up with our Mexican filling. kind of smallish peppers so our um, filling might overfill them just a little bit. But we'll just stack it up a little higher, that's all. In goes our cheese. Everything's already hot and most of the way cooked, so we're just going to let this go until the cheese melts. Probably leave it in there about 10 minutes or so. Got about two cups of cheese here. And I freshly grated it. I like that better. Mm, maybe I need a little more than two cups. Or maybe I should have been so generous. First one kind of stole a lot of cheese. Alright, there we go. Alright, now into the oven for about another 10 minutes. Alright, I'm putting together a little salad with cojita cheese and cilantro dressing. Just put it on a little spring mix. Alright, our peppers have come out of the oven. All we have to do now is plate them up. Mm -hmm. mm. Hear them sizzling? Sound delicious. Mine's probably going to have two, so I'm going to put two on this plate. Oh, we don't want to mess up that cheese. I want that to get on there. I'm going to move these to that burn myself. Then on top of those peppers, we're going to put some sour cream. Half an avocado. I've just cut slices each way inside of the skin. Just take them out with a spoon. We're supposed to bake them anyway. Mm -hmm. And salsa on top. There's already salsa on the inside, but a little salsa on the outside does not hurt. All right, we'll be back with just okay, a Okay, and the last thing for this meal is a piece of Mexican cornbread. We'll have to bring you along for how to make that next time. I didn't want to run out of battery and not be able to finish the pepper video, so I didn't do this one this time. But we'll bring you along for that the next time. Have a good day.